you wear a tie to Pinnacle Peak, expect to lose it, unless you've been assured by Casey Wills that your tie will be spared this time. Casey, tell me how that sure. started. Sure. Um, the uh, the idea was that this was a, um, a steakhouse for um, the everyday man, the everyday working man. This wasn't going to be a steakhouse only for um, the, the very wealthy to come into and kind of have that stuffy feel. So right. in order to kind of press that theory home and really make sure everybody knew about it, they would kind of started this off and mm -hmm. like, don't even try wearing a tie here, we'll cut it off. <laughs> Pretty soon that kind of took off and they kept going with it right. and we still cut ties off today. I think we cut off, it's, it's upwards of 100 a week at least. And tradition dictates that those ties will be hung from the rafters for guests to admire. A tradition started when the restaurant opened in 1962. Pinnacle Peak and Trail Dust Town were the vision of developer Howard Hamm. He turned an old Glen Ford movie set from the early 50s into a Wild West themed shopping plaza way out east on Tanka Verde. Trail Dust Town opened in 61, Pinnacle Peak in 62. The tradition of hanging ties from the ceiling may have actually contributed, though, to a devastating fire in 1971. It was burnt to the ground, pretty much. Um, they then shifted it from kind of the front of the property, closer to Tanka Verde, clo um, further back on the property to where okay. we are today. All right, here we are. <laughs> Casey, this place is, uh, I mean, this is the place people go and really feel like they're back in the 1800s. That's correct. Yeah, the, the bar is patterned and is faithful to an 1880s bar. Okay. Um, the, our, our owner is, uh, is pretty passionate about getting the look of things just right. Mm -hmm. there, we're, uh, we have a spittoon in here, but it's, of course, non-functional now. Yes. Well, we, we ask people not to use it Please anyway. refrain. Yeah. The back bar is an addition in the mid-70s found in the basement of the old Goldfield Hotel in Goldfield, Nevada. Through the years, Pinnacle Peak has added several more dining rooms and another grill, but the most important part of grilling the steaks remains unchanged. The mesquite wood, it's, uh, it's, it's real mesquite logs, this is all we cook on, we, you know, we don't use charcoal in the grills at all, it's all real mesquite logs, um, it's uh, sourced from a, a local vendor and he sources most of it from the kind of Sonoran desert area. Casey says the master grillers at Pinnacle Peak know just how to work the mesquite wood, it gives the steaks great flavor and burns very hot, perfect for steaks. They go through two to three cords of wood, preparing a few thousand steaks each week. The long tradition of Trail Dust Town also includes the Pistoleros Wild West Stunt Show, a fixture now for 21 years. And yeah. back inside, the nearly 60 years of Pinnacle Peak history is everywhere, and not just hanging from the rafters. You can't miss the giant portrait of Tombstone Slim, the former marshal of Trail Dust Town. Well, it is uh, part of my childhood, <laughs> and I appreciate you giving me the tour. That's and thank right. you for not cutting my tie off, Casey. It's got off easy this time. Thank you so much. You thank are you. absolutely Arizona. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Thank you.